Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit more about the air valve and the air logic through the Husky 1050 pump. A um, couple of component identifications. Air valve up on top. Four bolts on that air valve. It's a modular design, so if you needed to replace it or repair it, four bolts pops right off. Down here, behind this first diaphragm, there's a poppet valve, all right? Over on the other side, another poppet valve. And all those poppet valves do is they're a momentary open air switch, and it's used to dump air pressure on one side or the other of this valve up here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and stop this animation and take a little bit closer look at the paths that exist on this air valve, all right? So right now on the red, that indicates high pressure air, all right? The blue over on the other side indicates that that's low pressure or venting air, all right? So right now we've got the high pressure air that's existing in this, in this module or this air valve and it's piped down and just coming down through here and all the way back to the back side of that diaphragm. And that's what's causing that diaphragm in this case to move in this direction, all right? Over on the other diaphragm over here, Okay, we've got blue, again, that's reduced air pressure or exhausting, all right? And what that's doing is that's connected right in through here, and it's coming up through the passage. There's a cup and plate up in this uh, module, and it's connecting it to a vent, all right? So what we've got is we've got vent over here, okay? And we've got high pressure from the air valve going to this diaphragm. Okay, so we've got the diaphragm running again, and basically what's gonna be going on is we're gonna put air pressure on one side, vent on the other side, the diaphragms are gonna come in contact with the poppet valves, and that action of the poppet valve is gonna cause this spool valve up in this module to be moving back and forth. Basically, all it's doing is just directing air pressure and vent from one diaphragm to the other diaphragm.